it's a very good point again for bladder sparing because by definition you keep the bladder and that means that patients with muscle invasive bladder cancer carry a risk a distance metastatic disease that's what I usually call the enemy that you don't see and the enemy that you see inside the bladder when the bladder is taken out then by definition the risk locally is not there you have the risk of distance the when you spare the bladder in our experience 13 percent one three of patients had a recurrence that prompted what's called a salvage cystectomy and so the outcome which were equivalent were taking into account the fact that 13 percent had to undergo a cystectomy at the end of the day but also another 20 percent had recurrences which were non-muscle invasive but require also um, you know uh, intravascular installations and follow-up and so for patients they keep their bladder there's no doubt that everyone will prefer his or her own bladder to have a substitute but the price to pay is a lifelong follow-up with stringent cystoscopies imaging and so it's a little bit of a burden on the institution and also on the burden on the patients no doubt